Hello everyone, my name is Jumat and I'm a High Diamond Law Master Player and Rob Law Decanist and I am here to present you the four pillars of Ranked for League of Legends. The first pillar I want to talk about and the first thing any new player should know when starting Ranked should be this. Pick something that is viable, viable for your designated role or for the roles that you desire. Furthermore, any player that desires to climb should know at least one champion for every role. Two is perfect, but one is at least required for the games that you are out of field. Even if you are a one trick pony and you love to play a single champion like me, you should know at least one champion for the other roles. The current meta tier list is the following. This is just a personal opinion by the way, bear in mind that I've seen some of this champion hyper carry, so I mentioned those two, but they are not necessarily easy. So, for top lanes, some examples are Fiora, Camille, Irelia, Renekton, Kennen, Jace, even maybe Gangplank and Nautilus, Malphite, Maokai. I don't really mention tanks because with the first champions that I mentioned in this list, it is easier to carry. Also, I've seen successful one tricks, Queen, Gangplank, Clad, Pantheon. Some of these players were scary when facing them and had to be shut down so they don't hyper carry later. Now, here is especially Clad and Pantheon. For mid lane, examples would be Ahri, Oriana, Katarina, Leblanc, Syndra, and of course, all the assassins. There are a ton of viable champions for mid lane, and I've seen lots of successful one tricks here too. Seriously, just don't go something like uh, AP Ezreal mid because you'll probably get flamed and lose the game. No hate for AP Ezreal though, just pointing that there are much more better champions. For jungle, best picks in my elo are probably Ivern and Hecarim. I quite believe these are the broken ones. Also seen lots of Shaco ponies, but uh, do not play that if you do not practice like a maniac because it is not easy. Other options, Graves, Kragas, Kha'Zix, Rengar, Eve, Lee Sin. Only pick Lee if you practice him a lot, you lose a lot of games in the late and if you don't carry early well, you need a lot of luck later or good teammates or a good kick. It's not easy to play Lee Sin in late. Very few people actually acknowledge that and that saddens me. But yeah, pick one of these and if you really want to jungle and try to go with it. Let's move on to ADC, Lucian is back up in the meta, Kogma with Ivern and Lulu or Lulu is ridiculously strong and I would even dodge if I face that combo. Other champions that still work pretty well are Caitlyn, always worked, will probably always work because of the range, Draven, possibly the strongest early ADC and Twitch, maybe Jin, maybe Virus Misfortune and others. There are lots of good ADCs that you can pick from. As an ADC you should ask yourself the question what role you want to fulfill. Do you want to be a hyper carry like Kogma and Draven which are more mechanically intense than the other? Do you want to be a long range poke like Varus or Ezreal? Or do you want to be an all-rounder possibly like Caitlyn or other champions? You have to see every champion for what he, it has to offer so uh, focus on that. For support, Lulu, Jana, Soraka, because the COG comp carries so well, I'd say. I've also seen some very good Leona one tricks that carried, and obviously the champions with displacement CC will always work, like Trash if the player is good. Other options that work, Nami, Braum, and also the AP damage dealer supports, like Malza, Zyra, Brand for the insane damage outputs. I believe support is quite an open role, depends if you want to play a healer support, a tanky one or a burst one, I don't know how to call them, but that's the general types. This clip is actually from a ranked game, I, I won't cut it, I won't go next, I just want you to see this. If you want to be an OTP like me plus some other champions when out of field, just pick the champion you like, something viable, preferably. And practice a lot, hours and hours, and you will sooner or later succeed. See the fourth pillar for this one. For any of these champions, there are literally thousands of resources online featuring builds, runes, masteries, and how to lane early, mid, and how to team fight later, and so on. The second pillar and advice I want to give to all players that feel they can climb an extra division is practice CS. 
seriously. Most people are stuck in their division because abysmal low CS. Go to the practice tool, get your favorite champion, buy no items and get as many last hits on CS as possible. I'd practice 30 minutes a day if I'd really want to climb, but 10 minutes a day for a week will also do serious improvements for your CS. Aim for the minute mark multiplied by 10. There is your goal. The third pillar is about flaming and you should never ever do that. If you have a problem with flame, see it like this. Sometimes you have a good game in which you play good and the teammates suck. Sometimes it's the opposite, when you lose your lane and can't do really much against an opponent that is simply better. In the games in which you have advantage, if your teammates are negative with you or with anyone else, simply mute them and keep the game going. If they troll, feel free to report, but never at any cost get in verbal arguments with your teammates. If you think you are better, prove it by playing your best and don't ever argue. If you did fuck up the lane and someone throws bad words at you, either eat it up or use the mute button again. Nobody is perfect and we all lose from time to time, but again, there is absolutely no point to return arguments and try to fight it. Let's type more play. The fourth and last pillar, one that most people overlook, even myself got stuck in many places and divisions because I did not follow this golden rule, play to improve. You should never play ranked just because you want to try a champion out. You should never play ranked if you are tired and yes, usually that one more ranked game at 4am when you lost the previous one and flamed your team will not be a win. Every time you go in and queue, you should have the simple attitude of getting better at the game. You will be matched with some people that may be nice or may be not, may be good or may be not, but you should not care about that. Even if the team is going 0-10, you should focus on your lane and try to get better. Even in losing games, focus on your best. I can't stress enough over how important is this one. If you get mad at something or feel that you can't play good enough, take a break, rest, try later again with a fresh mind. Do this every time you have a game that mentally kills you. Again, you will have a clear mind if you don't join these meaningless arguments in chat. Focus and you will inevitably climb. In conclusion, follow these four lines of advice, clear your head and play your next game with the sole intention of getting better at the game. Don't flame, practice your CS with a viable pick and you should be on your way to ELO heaven. I'm Jurumat and I really hope this video helped. If you found it useful and want to see more of my content, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day guys, goodbye.